Hi, morning. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Okay, so today, I, eyes of March. <laughs> How appropriate. It would be great this tomorrow, but I guess uh, <laughs> the prophecy was made the day before. <laughs> okay, so this is, I, would, I can safely say this is uh, the favorite part in my favorite uh, medium, making portraits. Um, and I know that this can be a little daunting. I, I won't say scary, but often there are certain fears with portraiture, which um, hopefully I can at least uh, reduce to some extent. So um, with portraiture, unfortunately, since we recognize faces, there are certain details in faces that we can't um, ignore. Like if we were drawing animals or objects, a few errors here or there, or uh, sizes being different, proportions changing, does not really affect the illustration as much as it does in portraits. And that is, I think, the biggest part, that I draw some face and it looks like somebody completely different. So uh, in portraiture, when you want to make something as real as the person uh, you want to draw, there are in uh, an advanced stage, a lot of proportioning and a lot of creating uh, grids so that you make fewer and fewer errors. Now, I have not done any of that, so I'm not gonna try and teach you something that I've not done, but I can give you tips on how you can begin. And this is almost like a war you need to win. So you take on small battles at a time and figure out how to win those. So we are gonna do uh, facial features. And I'm also gonna give you a way to practice the face with a basic grid. And uh, that way you don't have any fear of un understanding proportions too much. So that's what we're gonna do. And it's only gonna be in pencil again. So uh, today, uh, maybe at some point, if you want to, you can use the eraser just so that you don't feel overwhelmed. But if possible, avoid it because um, in the long run, it tends to take away um, the areas that you need improvement. You don't want to rub that away because you can't, it doesn't go away. But if you keep it, then you know how to adjust it differently because it's like, you see something that you consider flawed and you can within that see how you could have corrected it and made a difference. It's almost like uh, I, I'm guilty of this, of commenting on movies that have been made and I try to change and say this, it could have been so much better if they'd done this or the other. And one doesn't realize that the first person's effort is 90%. So your first effort is 90%. And then trying to improve it or tweak it is fairly easy to do. Oops. <laughs> 